Mayor McDonough has always been against the Minutemen. I never quite understood why. getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Get your copy of the public. We expose the truth behind the Institute. There's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. Combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Officer? They say the old Boston Commons got some crazy bird living in it. Something. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of ramen meat on the hooks. Wait. What kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads? They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes, we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, princess. Weirder than that. Mirelurk, bloatflies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. I've got a few minutes to browse. Brahmin's fresh. Everything else, you're on your own. Kim, as recommended by me, myself, and I. Is the Institute spying on your home? Read the public. If anyone find is out. one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her, and her perfect hair. 
Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Don't need anything today. Some other time? <clears throat> you there. Talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a cent? Uh, what? Hmm? You know what a cent is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does, all perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh my god, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people, replace them with synths? Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Paper's right about him. Are you gonna answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said no one could tell the difference, Ma. She don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Don't mind my Ma. She's always a little bit cranky. Let's just focus on you and that lovely head of hair. I'll think about it. I got you. No problem. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Yeah? Officer. Now a swatter. That's a real weapon. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you up. Prescriptions, Bill. High quality Kim. Right here. What do you say we grab a cold one? Bartender. Right here. If that means, would I like a drink? The answer is yes. Yeah, whatever. Just make it strong. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. What are you saying? Tell me a joke. Yes? Don't be caught dead! <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry! Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Doctor. No patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax with some cams. <clears throat> Newcomer, huh? 
Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Hey, you that trader? Up from Quincy? You sell any ointment? They got me this itch. Prescriptions filled right here. Anything you need. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you've got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Rad Away. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. All right. How about 125 caps? Come on. Make it worth my while, Solomon. You are one righteous talker. 150 caps. I'll walk out right now if you don't make me a real offer. 200. That's all I can pay. I swear. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Solomon. Got something green for me, man? And by green, I mean mutated and glowing. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Back to the matter at hand, though. Chems. Let's see what you got. Got your fix. A new face. Beautiful, but not perfect. For a nominal fee, Doc Crocker can give you the looks you've only dreamed about before. Wait, what are you gonna do to me? I'm proposing surgery. Not just any surgery. Facial reconstruction surgery. Safe and instantaneous. New jawline, new eye color. Remove scars, add scars. A new you, a more perfect you. Not today. Too bad. So much potential. done with the real Riley. Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Hey there. Thank the wall, that's over. Officer. Move along. Officer. I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. 
Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. Diamond City Security is going to conduct an investigation, right? Hey, Solomon. Can't believe that happened. It's totally ruined the mood out here. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Be betrayed! We're always open! You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes. Look real, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything you need. Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition! So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka-Cola! Sheffield. So thirsty. Nuka-Cola! You want a soda? Is that it? Why not give him one? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Here you go. Look at you, being nice to someone. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you! Thank you! Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... you mean it? What do you say? Okay. Maybe this will be a fresh start. Protection for sale! Hand-tooled pieces! You then! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet 
and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats, and, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers, big brutes of guys, uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms, you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies, an all-female team, with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league! Ha, I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers, ooh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Hey, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, little Miss Smarty Pants? Well, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? What makes you the expert anyway? I'm a native-born son of Diamond City. That's why. Baseball is in my blood. Now, are you going to answer my question or what? It was America's pastime. A sport that united families on warm summer days. And it wasn't violent. Mostly. Sounds great. We should bring that back. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks western, had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, Catch his mitt and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal? You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on. Show me you're serious. Oh! If only Ice Ice Julie could see that steely gaze of yours. <laughs> she might have finally met a match. You win. Ugh. 200 caps each. But that's my final offer. You taken or leaving? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Swatters, right here. Best scum. Miss? Uh, hello. Have you been here before? No, first time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. I'm not a thief, and I'm not liking your tone. Just given a warning. As long as you pay with good caps, we won't have any problems. Now that we understand each other, Welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. 
And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? Phew. My husband got taken, all right? By the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What do you know about synths? Just what I read in the papers. That the Institute builds them, and some even look human. So much you can't tell the real difference. Lucky me, huh? Institute takes my Charlie, doesn't even bother replacing him. Let's see what you have. A paying customer. Finally. Hey, Just point wait me there. To it. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Hey, I'll stay come on. Join the railroad. Settlement of uh, sanctuary has, I guess, been founded. To the uh, to the northwest there. Where it is, something bad went down with, in the old museum you know, the of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even and go there? Been abandoned yeah, forever. News. It sounds like maybe the <laughs> not other news. It's actually the same news. The uh, Minutemen minute were involved, involved in this. The, 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 the Minutemen. I, I, I thought I thought they, they were kind of done for. <laughs> Sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. And if we were real, who it needs would be a haircut? Super dangerous. Everyone needs a haircut. They have is on now. Singing about Please a man. Behind the right? Uh, that's so stupid. It's, it's petty hot. That's what this one is. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? 
Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it... it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So, do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait. People just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue. You haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, Well, could've been worse. Could've been killed by raider attacks, or super mutants, or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that... that you'll see them again, or... at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? 
You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Piper, you listen to her now. She'll keep you out of trouble. Out of trouble? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Inside, there's... I think someone was using this as a trash hey, can. 